In our next Photopea tutorial, we're going to look at the dodge, burn, and sponge tools. Let's hop into today's video. If you want to open the menu, just click and hold down on the icon and you should get this open. So the first tool is our dodge tool. And if I paint with the dodge tool, we see that it brightens up my mushroom and it's very bright now. You can change the exposure. So let's say I undo that a bit. So this is with my exposure at 100 and this is going to be my exposure at 6. So we see that we can change how bright we want our dodge tool to make the pixels. And we also have different ranges so we can focus on our highlights. So you see that it made the highlight part really bright, um, not as much as, you know, a darker area. We can focus on our midtones, which is good for an overall, like even sort of highlight with the dodge. And we could focus on our shadows so that it'll make the shadows feel a little lighter. So next, we have our burn tool. So the burn tool does the opposite. You can burn an image and make it a lot darker. And same thing, you can put the exposure. So if I undo that really quick, if I put the exposure at 100, it's really dark. And if I put the exposure, really we'll say at 15, it's not as much of a drastic change. And we can also affect our range. So shadows, midtones, and highlights. Very similar to our dodge tool. All right. And lastly, we have a sponge tool. So the sponge tool has to do with the saturation of your image. So if I use this right now, um, we can see that it really made our colors pop. And that's what the saturation does. So right now the flow is at 12, so it wasn't very saturated. If I put it at 96, we can tell that it makes a very drastic difference in the saturation of our color here. And I had it set to saturate mode. If I put it on desaturate mode, it removes the color from our mushroom here. So these are some pretty neat tools that you can use to make some quick edits to any photo that you import into Photopea. Stay tuned for more short Photopea tutorials and have a totally awesome day and I'll see you next time.